Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot Codium installation issues. If you are having trouble getting Codium up and running, this guide will help you resolve common problems. So let's get started. First, make sure you have a compatible code editor installed. Codium supports popular editors like VS Code, IntelliJ IDEA and many others. Check the Codium website for the full list of supported editors. Ensure that you have an active internet connection. Codium needs to connect to its servers to provide real-time code suggestions and completions. If you are having terrible installing Codium, start by checking the installation instructions on the Codium website. Make sure you are following the steps correctly for your specific code editor. If the installation fails, try restarting your code editor and your computer. Sometimes a simple restart can resolve temporary issues. Check for any pending updates for your code editor. An outdated version of the editor may cause compatibility issues with the Codium extension. Make sure you have the necessary permissions to install extensions in your code editor. On some systems, you might need administrator privileges to complete the installation. If you encounter an error message during installation, take note of the exact message. It can provide clues about what went wrong. Look up the error message on the Codium support page or forums for specific solutions. Disable any conflicting extensions or plugins that might interfere with Codium. Sometimes other extensions can cause conflicts that prevent Codium from installing or working properly. Clear the cache and temporary files of your code editor. This can help resolve issues related to corrupted files or settings that might be affecting the installation. If you are still having some problem, check the Codium documentation and support resources. The Codium website has a wealth of information including facts, troubleshooting guides and user forums where you can ask for help. Reach out to Codium support if you have tried all the steps above and still experiencing issues. Providing them with detailed information about your problem including your code editor version, operating system and any error messages you have encountered. And that's it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching and see you next time.